Yo, what's really good though? It's your girl, Yezzy Yezza. It's your girl, AY, you done already. And you are watching Hey Sis. Where we talk our opinions, mm-hmm. okay? And we give you some gems. And if you want to listen, you listen. Simple. Period. Okay, so this is episode three, season one. I mean, we're here. We're here, man. We're live and direct. Period. And we're here to talk about something that a lot of people have been throwing out words like, oh, gentrification or mm-hmm. certain people are coming into the area. Mm-hmm. So on today's episode, we're going to talk about, are we getting pushed out of London, our capital city? Mm. It feels like we're getting pushed out. What do you think? Yeah, in some ways, yes. I get it. I get why, because obviously when gentrification, we just say. <laughs> gentrification. Um, when we're set in places, they're now coming to take over. Okay. And stuff. Um, but at the same time, I'm like, Fuck it. Like, London is mad expensive, first of all. So where would you move to, Miss Fuck It? Where would Me, you I'm move a, to? Pers- I'm a person that, I've always said this, that I like London in a mm. sense of when I come in, do my business, have my fun. Okay. But I'm a person that likes to live, I would rather live in the countryside on the beach side and away from all that noise. I'm good with that. Because mm-hmm. one, the property is better there anyways. You get more space? You get more space instead of having one box for a room. No, it's true. <laughs> it's true. I mean? In London, we take, we take the piss yeah. with, this, with what we give out as like your average studio, mm-hmm. yeah? I'm seeing studios no bills included a thousand pounds we're talking mortgage money people mortgage money to live in the way some people london live in the two bedroom Mm -hmm. or three bedroom apart or even one and it's just the way it's just the amount they're spending yeah just for that and i'm like don't get me wrong that place is nice but for that amount of price yeah bro come on you can find actual you can actually get a nice decent yard outside of london with that same amount of price that you're paying per month go up north up north it's a whole different living experience up north you can go to southampton like Mm. like bro and that's not even too far far, you know that's not too far far. so yeah like you honestly we're getting finessed out here now we really are yeah we are are. down south yeah southampton's down south yeah you said up north. No, I said up north oh. that you can different living experience. See, when you pay attention. Don't worry. This is what happens. <laughs> Listen to the gems. Pay attention. Don't sleep on it. Don't. I don't want to see comments. You said, no, no, no. Listen. Then speak. <laughs> Dropping gems every day, B. Oh, my god. At this point, run us our checks. Now, the checks are coming. Wisdom is coming out of our mouth. Like, <laughs> Listen, Gandhi, you ain't got a no. chance with us. No, <laughs> <laughs> God, do you know? I'm, we'll take it. We'll take it. We'll take, we'll take, it, take it. Nobel Peace Prize level. Okay, cool. <laughs> no, but for all. Like up north and down south, even though it's cheaper, that uh, it holds the same value as London, you know, because London is more diverse. There's a yeah. lot more yeah. things to do. There's a definitely. lot more modes of transport than in other cities. I, like, I get that. I feel like it's definitely does not have much as much stuff available but really truly if you push us out because it's not just us and realistically it's not just like black people that you'll be pushing out that yeah. can't it's all ethnic minorities yeah let's say yeah, lower middle the, class yes, working class, class you're you getting pushed out. out you push out and you make london like this expensive place we will just go and create our own stuff then that day mm-hmm. because no one's going to be able to afford to be coming in anyways yeah yeah, so yeah. they need us half of the time they really truly they need they need us because we help to fuel and keep it going we we are the, the economy is the reason why people come down to london it's because that's yeah. why people come and, and, and don't get it twisted i know there's some people out there that'll be like you lot only make about four percent of the country yeah thank but most you of thank that, you most thank of you. that four percent resides in london b yeah so. no it's concentrated there mm-hmm. uh, london i do believe is being created to be some type of working hub mm-hmm. they don't really care about quality of living Mm-mm. having a lifestyle mm-hmm. that's why now more than ever, we've got the most antisocial working hours ever. Mm-hmm. We've got people in their 20s. This is the longest period that people in their 20s are spending time at home because they generally can't afford the London rental price. And I it's wouldn't mind. True. I wouldn't mind the rent going up if the wages went up too. This is it. But the salary doesn't coincide the with the living. It's the lifestyle. Stays the same. It's a joke. How do you expect me to survive? No. Like people out here, if they're lucky, being able to pay their bills... Mm-hmm. That's it. So now how yeah. do I get to live? No. You're, you're, you're literally waking up in the morning to go and slave away for a job, to come back home, and that's it. Because you can't afford to do anything outside of that. You're living anything to work. Outside of, yeah, exactly. You're living yeah, to work. Living that's to work, it. And, it's and bad. I don't want to do that. I, I, I want to be working to live. 
That's yeah. what the, that's the aim. You want to work so that you can experience life. You can yeah. afford to do things, but yeah. you can't even afford to do anything at, at this point. Outside is expensive. You step outside, your your toe no. reaches the pavement. No, a pinky is ten pounds. And this 50, is it. Fifty pounds is ten pounds. You get down the yeah. road, you're already one bill gone. Yeah. How? I haven't even but gone inside because somewhere. that's how they've done the prices. But I feel like at first I used to feel like hmm, getting pushed out of London is a bad thing. Then I thought, hold on. If we can make a place hot, and don't get me wrong, I know people will say, you know, the Greeks built in, da 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 da. But let's talk about Windrush and, and going forward mm-hmm. from that point in time. Let's just say we built the thing, mm-hmm. yeah. People of color, whatever. If we can make London hot and the economy that we bring in, the way that we can make the pound very strong because of our exchange of services, da 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 da, we, can't we do the same thing in other places in England? Exactly. Why do we feel like the only home for black people, let's just say certain classes of people is London. This is it. Can't we do the same thing in Manchester, like Birmingham? It's become so dependent. It's like, this is what happens when you become almost like dependent on the master to give yeah. you the little... And that social code of everything happens in London. You yeah. have to be in London. If you're not in London, you're not in London the mix. Is. Exactly. If you're not popping in London, you're not popping nowhere. Yeah. That's not necessarily too. You can just also pop just in London, but you're not popping in europe yeah so no do you know what i mean you're not popping in the whole of england you're just popping in london and you might be popping in manchester too on the side yeah. it's like i think you're right that they're really trying to make london seem like this it's like a machine mm-hmm. it's like they're trying to create london to be this machine this working machine that's yeah. just constantly like it's killing people yeah it is help, help How many is, people is on an old time low yeah if Every it's not day, if it's not the, ch- if it's not depression yeah and and depression it, it can stem from a whole bunch of things we could, we could talk about the 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 mental health issues that people are going through on a financial basis mm-hmm. not being able to keep up with mm-hmm. not necessarily a lifestyle that we've created but a lifestyle that's been bestowed upon oh, us yeah. by the government i mean yeah. for example as as small as this may seem to some people congestion charge is freaking ridiculous it's dumb it used to be 10 pounds monday to friday you at least get the weekend to enjoy mm-hmm. now it's 15 pounds from like 7 a.m to 10 p.m imagine. monday to sunday imagine and then the whole basis of this even occurring is to help with the environment and da, 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 da. we all know it's a joke it's a joke because like, really, it's so really intelligent. we still need to drive through this people are still gonna have to go through those places you people really are, still are gonna have to do you know what i mean so what's what environment are you helping if you really wanted to help the environment you would put down an act a law whatever and say all cars have to be electric going forward but this is it. If you if really you gave, gave the damn. Exactly. You know, it's, it's like this whole like um 20p for a bag. If you really wanted to stop, stop getting the daylight using, robbery, using oh. bags and stuff like that, it would you would just stop making them. They wouldn't even be a f- you not be able to what, buy them. Brown paper bags. I swear in America they use brown paper bags. We use them in my store. Do you know what I mean? Is like it? In oh, Kenya, okay. in Kenya, plastic bags is illegal okay they don't they use like biodegradable bags yep. it's illegal if you're caught you're fine bro yeah like, it's long for you it's long for you the only time they really use it is for the bins okay exactly and because of durability i yeah, imagine exactly. Yeah, yeah exactly yeah. if we implied those kind of things here fair enough and now i know you're being serious but it's yeah. not about the environment it's a if it was about the environment you'd actually do something about it right now you're just trying to make money from me right now i feel like the government is just taking them they're insulting our intelligence no, you know when you see are, some are, designers are, they are, they are, yeah see it, and man. they put out trainers that look like high-tech trainers and they slap on 600 pounds and everyone just buys it mm-hmm. that's how you're insulting our intelligence no right no no, now. no and people are dumb they will just believe it yeah it's the same way with these rules Which all rules? these rules throughout covid and stuff it applies <sighs> to us but doesn't apply to them yeah. That's how it is, and man. there's been enough MPs that have been caught not following the rules. Do you know what I'm saying? But, but it's okay. So no, nah, man, it's a joke. But I feel like we need to stop feeling like oh, we stop making London seem like it's the only place you can really like it's get some from. type of epicenter. We that, decide like, where what is popping and no, not. Facts. We are the trends, bro. We no, are we the set, trends. We, we, we set stay setting trends, them literally, so really we do. can decide mm-hmm. where. Like we can take ourselves and decide. Cool, this is what's going to be the next best thing. Yeah, and it will be because they will fight. They will follow. And also, they will yeah, follow us where we go. They will follow. Do they and, not? T- and take over? Exactly. Do but, they not? That's so, what. That's what another day. That's that one. But I will. Say this one as well. Try to some yeah, yeah, attempt, but uh, they, 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 they do be taken over and succeed. I'm just saying. Certain, things, just saying. certain, certain things, things, certain things, certain things. But I will say as well, yeah. The thing sometimes they leave the clues right in front of us, my people. Let's keep an eye on like the geographical landscape of London. Oh no, England, yeah. There are plans on train lines everywhere. 
whereby getting to places like Manchester and Birmingham will be like an hour. That's like going from southeast to southwest London. Oh, same. Come That's to you. Me coming to see you, babe. Straight hour. Please. Cool. And imagine if you can get a train from London to, I don't know, wherever you want to live outside of London, and let's just say you're not one of the lucky few, which even so, n- now more than ever are working from home, doing that commute is calm. Why not move out of London? Mm-hmm. Why not? If you want to push us, push us out. Do you know how many people do that, though? So many people do that. Yeah. A lot of their, they do that a lot. You yeah. catch a lot of them. When yeah, I yeah, went to they uni, do that. Yeah. In Guildford, a lot of them that tell me, oh, yeah, my mum my works in London. She just drives or she catches a train. They just go. But they, but and then they and come the, back. And when it's us, oh, no, I couldn't imagine living outside of London. Why, Why? do we give London so much regard? Exactly. If you had the money and you, like, would you move out of London then? If me, I had it comfortably, oh, yes. Yes, and that goes Hundreds. back to the point of saying that there's people now in their 20s, more than ever, let's just say from 23 up until even 29, 30, that are living at home because they genuinely can't afford to move mm-hmm. out. I'm sure anyone that gets to a certain age would love to move out, mm-hmm. but then you've got to look at your pocket, you've got to be realistic with mm-hmm. yourself mm-hmm. and say, I'm, I'm going to have to stay here mm-hmm. for a while, save up my money before I can really leave. And now people are thinking, rah, at this age now, 20, let's just say 25 plus, you want to leave. What's the point of me renting? I'm going to now buy. you got to save up even more money. Mm-hmm. And don't get me started on how much a deposit is for London. Exactly. So not only are you being pushed out of London, you can't even afford London. They're giving you a big F you to your face. No. If it's not geographically, mm-hmm. by putting you in places with people that look similar to yourself, they're telling you financially, we're buying you out. Yeah. You ain't even got a space here. You don't even, you know, you run along. Level. You're not even levels. That, that's what they're this doing. This is not your baby. That's your lane. Yeah, and they keep you on that level mm-hmm. with the salary. Mm-hmm. And then they'll do things like, oh, well, you know, the London living wage has gone up. Oh, come on piss off honestly it's a joke thing it's it a is joke a joke thing. when you see you dp you're just like are you taking the you're, you're taking the mickey mm-hmm. you're actually taking the mickey really and truly you think at me i can survive these times the people that are on top are eating and they're trying to tell me what i can no, survive they're on like christmas they're every day every day but you're telling me what i can survive can yeah. you can you do yeah. oh my days it takes a mickey that's no, why. no honestly can you live on what you tell people the average wages do, do you know what i'm can saying you? because and also yeah i feel like the, even the uh, tiers that they do for taxes is ridiculous yeah 20 percent is the base rate yeah but you're doing 20 percent from people that own and correct me if i'm wrong over eleven thousand per annum it doesn't make sense why are you taxing 20 percent on that someone same amount is not going to be the same for someone that's earning 60 70k and then they try to make up for it with oh 40 percent okay so someone finally gets to themselves a a certain decent salary and then you want to chop 40 percent on that so you'll be lucky if you can even you'll be lucky yeah if you can clear a clean 1500 every month that's Mm. what they do with these tax Mm -hmm. with Mm -hmm. this with this taxing yeah they're making you grateful if you can even get over a bag a month just and that's still not living comfortably that's still paying my bills doing bro you can't afford there's like, people on benefits that earn more than that. Draw, listen. But you're I leaving your you. yard. You're yeah, leaving your lard. <laughs> you know? Stressing myself out. Nah, 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 nah. Yeah. Nah, it's, it's true. It's facts. Yeah. It's there facts. was a survey that came out that said 80% of people in England do not have up to a thousand pounds in their savings and it's not their fault Mm -hmm. because the first thing you think is what's their problem no like we really have to look into what the price of living is is why aren't people able to say no people that that live come from outside london and i've met people coming outside london and i've come in london and i've gone back out because they're like yo it's expensive it's not worth it because you know what london is glamorized so Mm -hmm. they thinking london's when we're gonna make it big time yeah do you know what i mean i'm going for a trip (laughs) to my favorite rocket ship they come to (laughs) london They come to London and say, this is not my favourite ship. Nope. This it's a hellhole. No, this, this is it. And they're sold dreams. And they're like, do you know what? I can't afford it. I have to go back home. I have to. Because I need to go back home and save to the point where I can come in London and live okay. Okay. And okay, okay. meaning I'm a not... rent that's a thousand pounds plus, not including bills. So you're basically putting aside about if you're lucky to move in with a friend or a partner two thousand pounds on just existing do you know what i mean just no, I, know, existing. I know i know this I, is not even enjoyment I, I know someone with a partner that's and he was like bro like ugh, like only because of my job i swear that i'll move back home i would go back to my ends because this ain't it what are you how much as for? i love london this isn't it you're paying for a postcode get, you are you are okay let me say this i'll ask you this if you had children 
would you still move out of London? Because I feel like that's a different game. Because unless there's more of us moving out of London, it's a very sticky one for the kids to mm. growing up with. They're the only black person in the. Do you know what I mean? In the yeah. class, yeah. or if the only coloured person, or like, do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. in the whole year, yeah, in the yeah. Whole school, like that's actually a legit. Only people yeah. of colour there. You're thinking, bro. Maybe it's you get maybe one Indian, one black. Now you have to. We have to stick together, babe. Do you know what I mean? Because it's me and you against the world. No, it's true. In your you whole year. Because it's not going to be your only class. It'll be your whole year. Your whole year, you're representing yeah. a whole, like, people. Yeah. That's you there. And you're, and it's long. Because you know what? Mm. I know people that live outside London and have grown up and being the only black person yeah. or being the only person of colour. And they were like, it's hell. It's hell. Because you're constantly reminded. That's the only thing. That's the only thing that... I feel like I would move out of London. I don't know if I would live in England to be fair. Yeah. But I'll move out of London, but I might try and move out of where it's like either Greater London, you know, just the borderline, mm. or maybe not too, too far out where there's still some sort of, you know, mix up. Yeah. So you're not by yourself. My ch- my children won't be by themselves because yeah. it's long. Uh, I'm in two minds because one mind is like what you saying the quality of living and making them not feel like they're any different mm-hmm. to what they're used to and another side of me is like I don't want them to be so codependent on for me to feel comfortable in the space I need someone that looks like me I want them yeah. to feel like any space I'm in I deserve to be there I deserve a table anywhere I'm at that's another one too because you're you trying up, to yeah. fit in stand up just be yourself because I, I remember like being in places and spaces not really feeling that way but then maybe you get another colleague that's like yourself and they're like oh my gosh we're the only da, 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 da. and i'm thinking i never thought that way because i'm here like mm-hmm. i deserve to be here i've qualified to be here mm-hmm. so why should i feel like i'm the only da, 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 da. but as a kid don't you think that the fact that they see someone else that's like them mm-hmm. helps them kind of identify who they are and where they come from and stuff because there's only so much you can do yeah yeah because it's not like your because it's not going to be you and your partner and your kid that and your family your mom and your grand and your aunties are Mm. all going to move it's just going to be the nuclear family so that means the only time they really might get representations like or they see the identification like they will only see it like when you go to visit your family that's I w- the, I and that will be always often because you you and your family will also do your own thing i guess it's based on personal experience because i will say in primary school i didn't feel like a color like let me say 90 percent of the time there's this one incident with a very bad joke but let's just say 90 percent of the time i just felt like a kid in primary school but where did you My, go to school to in- bermondsey but it was predominantly white okay it was a christian school whatever whatever yeah, don't get me wrong maybe one there was one bad joke when I got to secondary school, which was predominantly black, mm-hmm. now mind you, when I was in primary school, I'm, I'm, I love who I am. Da, 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 mm. da. I got to secondary school, I had people question my level of blackness. Oh, okay. And that was a predominantly that's black what school. Stop doing that black people as well. And that's the thing. When I was in primary school, I was addressed as my name. There were no like preconceived uh, notions, notions about yeah. myself. When I got to secondary school, there were comments like, "You're a bounty." Who do you think you are? I remember do you that think one. you're yeah, too yeah, nice? Yeah, yeah. This, that, that. You look like you've been spoiled. Da, da, mm-hmm, da, da. Mm-hmm. Because, and that was from black people. Mm-hmm. So my thing is that I could simply say, oh, wow, but my experience here, for me, in regards to identifying who I am, I got enough at home and maybe outside going to like parents' friends' mm-hmm. house and their children. Yeah. It was enough. At school, school is education and friendships. Why would I need to divulge into someone that's my age mate mm-hmm. to help me identify who I am? Yeah. Because these are the same people when it comes to peer pressure that make you feel like, should I bleach? Yeah. Is the texture of my hair good enough? No, no. Am I, that's, you know, am I, I pretty? I that from black people. My experience as well too. It's like, coming here yeah is when i knew that i was dark i didn't know i was dark skin until i was in secondary school Bro, i thought i was same, black same i just thought i was a black person i came and then i would come secondary school yeah no you're not just black you're dark b and it was from black people so i didn't know a shade. What's and a it shade? predominantly dark black people dark black men do you know what i mean yeah. I got it. so that's when it's I, mad. Was, I knew oh wow okay so i'm dark and i was like okay cool so i'm yeah. dark what's the big deal but now you've identified it. yourself with something that never came to, to your my mind, mind. Yeah. so that and, and but the funny thing is 
when other people see us, we're all black. Mm-hmm. So that's why I say that if I move outside of London, I'm just going to instill the same level mm-hmm. of confidence my children need in any setting. Yeah. Because there's always someone from any walk of mm-hmm. life, from any creed, color, whatever, that's going to try you. Yeah. So I'm going to quit my children. You can't be tried. Yeah. Whether it's someone that looks like you or doesn't look like you, because mm-hmm. everyone's going to come and attack you one way or the other. Mm-hmm. That's no, fact. it. No, it's true. And I think that is actually... A better way like instilling that to your child that i know like you can't control the outside you cannot control the outside environment no. you cannot control whether they get bullied or not and stuff yeah but if you like try and instill like that self-love self-belief self-worth yeah. in them from when they're young that they will not need nobody not a black person or a white person or an asian to tell them who they are because they know who they are and they won't try to find love in the wrong hands exactly because a lot of people try to seek validation Mm -hmm. from their peers and they Mm -hmm. get themselves in a mix-up they didn't plan for i was saying you said some people that are maybe they're mixed and like they will now be trying to prove that no no but i'm black though too yeah. my mix my black side re- reigns in me strong yeah. and it's like no because it's like just be you Ooh, be be, be you. you do you know what i mean <laughs> it's like this notion of being black and as well as you said about how being um people saying oh you're a bounty and stuff and it's because you're well spoken because you go man and stuff like that and it's like it's not my fault but why are those connotations something that's obscure Stur- for us yeah I don't, I don't understand. It's, I feel like it stems for as well from back in the day as well when, like, slavery in times when we were not allowed to be able to read and write yeah. and stuff. And that was associated, education was associated with whiteness. So, uh, well, West, say, Western education. Exactly. We'll, we'll put that out there because, you know, the, uh, the West side, the Western society is not the only people that educate their people. Let's, Kieran. let's put that there right there. Mm-hmm. We have a lot of history. Mm-hmm. It's been tried, uh, people have tried to rub out our history. Change made it, us forget it. who we are. You know, reverse it. But we're, we're, <laughs> we're going to keep doing something that you can't take away from us. And exactly. we have the culture of storytelling. Mm-hmm. So we're going to keep passing down stories that mm-hmm. our grandparents gave mm-hmm. to our parents, that they gave to us. Yeah. And we're going to do the same because... Exactly. Because like you were mentioning as well, and it's very important, identity, when someone can strip that from you, that's the first stage of rubbing out a person's existence. Mm-hmm. So we got to so keep hold of that. you don't know who you are, then you, like, you don't exist. Yeah. You become whatever somebody tells you and you can't empower your people no because how can you empower people if you don't have a sense of direction for yourself but Mm -hmm. um we will say this in regards to getting pushed out of london our final takeaway do what do you feel about it as a whole the whole concept of getting pushed out of london I mean, I'm not even the biggest fan of London like that, you know, so... I'm, like, the worst person because I'm not really the biggest fan of, of, like, fan of London. I don't... Where we reside is quite away from London. So, for me, it's, like, they want to push this out. Cool, let's take your place, your things. Why are we we worried about them? Let's take our stuff then. Just take take our stuff and move and create our our own spaces. I'm with you Do you know what I mean? Let's create our own spaces. Stop looking for the master to give you the (laughs) pair of food. Him, master, has been real good. Like, stop it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No Oliver Twist around here. No Oliver Twist, yeah. it it seems like they're trying to do that. They're trying to push us out. But, you know. Mm Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> no, you know what? I'm totally with you on that one. Um, at first, like a lot of people, I thought getting pushed out was a bad thing. But let's flip it. We've been flipping it. We've been making the best out of the most out of a bad situation. Mm. So let's take it in our stride. And if anything, let's stay ahead of the curb and get into these places before they try to hike them up too. Exactly. But yeah, I mean that's it from us. You've been watching Hey Sis. Stay locked in. Period. That's you. Should be ended. <laughs>